With my 14-inch Celestron high-definition telescope, I was able to prove that there are actual built structures inside of the circle. You just saw an energy source surrounded by many pipes connected to unknown structures. There's much proof on the moon that these structures were built. As you look on different angles, you can see all the connections quite clearly with your own eyes. Some of them look like industrial setups. Whether it be recent or ancient or both, we can clearly see in this image, in these images, that most of the structures are covered up by dust. And what's that smoky area on top and then yet another smoky area over top where they're actually producing something. And you could see these smokes rising up into the air over the surface in the lunar atmosphere. When this massive secret, one of many secrets on the moon comes out, it will change our entire system and the entire way that Earth is run. It will change the belief systems of every single person on this planet and all the religions around the world. Real massive satellite looking objects, a rectangle elevated off of the surface where the top left corner is showing you the other crater underneath look at all these structures connected in city-like areas this is Bianchini city truth is there for everyone that wants to take the time to find it craters with patches that are green seen with a 14 inch telescope zoomed up into the edge of a crater what they say scientists say is ejecta what are those patches? Why are they green? Here it is in black and white, just off of the edge of a crater facing Earth that everyone looks at. You can see the edge of the crater, all those patches. I've, sh I've shown patches. I've shown dust over top of the structures. There's definitely an atmosphere and quite a thick atmosphere that's bringing all this dust and smoke around or they're mining something and that's what's causing all the dust, whatever it is the hell that they are producing on the moon. Let's filter this one by bringing the exposure down and adding a simple green color. Look at all the structures and look at those mysterious rectangular lights that show up across the entire moon. Here's Aristarchus Crater seen from three different zoom levels. The big circle on the left, you can see Aristarchus and look at the spot on the bottom right circle that area now I'll go back to the left that small circle is the area that I zoomed up on we can see the structuring even though they're not um, we're not precisely able to distinguish what each of the objects are all we can confirm though that there really are objects on the surface some of my favorites whether they are not to the moon I can confirm to you that they hid from the public the way they did go but what I find weird is that this is the Apollo 17 landing site, and that's, there's Bessel Crater inside of the mare, so you know where we are, Serenitatis. But that rectangle there is not natural, and it was definitely built. Let's look at the same area from another angle. We can't even see the square here. It's converted. Very hard to see that square inside of Mare Serenitatis. So we're going to take a look at the supposed landing site real quickly, just a quick zoom into what they call a crater. Now you can see so many connections and lines going to each of these mounds or bumps that we can see, but we can also notice that some are oscillating, that there's actual fusioning going on in some of these areas. And like I said, probably most likely what's creating the dust on the surface are those areas that are uh, chemically producing something. And obviously, just maybe it could be reacting with the atmosphere the moon, the lunar atmosphere, when depending on whatever they are producing. 
Tycho crater, you can see up there on the right, the white crater, I labeled it Tycho. And underneath, you can see um, a line going to the crater, but beside that line, here we can see it really well converted, I love showing these, a square. Whether it's natural or not, it could be not natural, but I'm just showing you that there are hundreds of squares on Earth's side. You don't have to go on the dark side to see some cool stuff. Tell me you don't see all the lines, the six, five, four, five, six lines going across this rectangular object that's placed inside of a crater. All these things are built and they are very refractive. They have the same reflectivity as the surface and people are not noticing them. People don't want to notice them, obviously. They're expecting a movie-like uh, film of the moon, you know, and it's just, it is in space. Square craters here where we can see 90-degree angles, just like the craters were actually carved out. Leaves you to wonder. Well, we have a pretty spectacular shot of the sun, both on May 20th, which is what you are watching, and today, May 21st, which I'll show you right after, 2023. Check it out. Uh, clouds all over the place. I got plasma lifting up off the surface. Yet again, we'll be able to see that. So what I did is I slowed it down for you, thus being able to show us the sunspots on top spitting out some plasma, as, like I said, you will see. First, let's look at the conversions. The lines you're seeing in the center is that my solar filter is offset and some light is getting into the camera. So if you see a line running across the sun, it's nothing to do with any phenomena. It's the filter. So watch this. Look how aggressive that is. Okay, look at the objects right now coming in on top, one and two. Both spit out or attracted due to those sunspots. So you have plasma lifting up off the surface. And yes, you can definitely see it. Don't forget, I'm using a solar filter. And only with the conversion was I able to see it and slowing it down. Because this object, there it is one and the second object going different directions but on the same trajectory separating themselves uh, one smaller piece behind the first piece let's see it here let's put it in the green maybe we'll see it better but it'll be dark in the center with the green filter though but we'll see it arriving in three two one zero there it is the first and second object and then it goes into the uh, clouds because the clouds are between the sun and us so we're almost done here looking at the May 20th sun. Really happy, guys, to have been able to show you. Listen, expect some incredible weather phenomena, maybe some that we've never even seen. San Andreas Fault is about to rock California very soon. There are those two objects coming in again. Rare incidents. I looked at the sun for, I only had like 15, 20 minutes to be able to look at it um, for a clearing yesterday. So like I said, this is the end of May 20th. We're going to transfer over to today's sun. Really happy to have been able to show you how bad they are because I don't know if you know it. This is basically the worst I've ever seen the sun. It's many times the size of Earth that you see that big spot there on the left. And the line, like I say, that you can see running through the center. Look at the spot in the right, bottom right appearing right there so that line going through the sun is not any phenomena it's the filter that was offset some lights coming into the camera nice way to see it now we are may 21st 2023 and we're looking at the sunspots really closely and i slowed it down enough for us to be able to see it without too much of a, a jiggle because sorry it's windy a little bit outside there's a whole bunch of things that we have to uh, endure like the weather and whatnot you know like not being able to see the sun often these days it's just absolutely incredible most of you know it um, right now if you're noticing it's colder than usual if you're noticing it's damn hotter than usual don't wonder why the sun is affecting the earth's atmosphere it's a uh, going to affect everything all the way down to the earthquakes and the southern hemisphere of earth is going to be rocked by some more earthquakes volcanoes that are active right now or maybe some not active will become active this is without a doubt i confirm it to you the sun is crazy and don't forget these spots are going to turn even more towards earth uh, in the next coming days and it's very dangerous as a matter of fact these spots one of them shot out some very uh, large 
storms and and flares. So hoping that that's not going to happen. I really want to thank each and every one of you for taking it to the channel. We've got the little trolls subbing and unsubbing the channel. So we'll let them have fun with the subs. And this channel will always remain a free channel. Just don't forget to come back. I'd appreciate a thumbs up and um, everything that you do to support this channel, like sharing out links, is also greatly appreciated. We're a real small online family. We stream Wednesdays at 5 p.m. Eastern and Fridays at 1 and 8 p.m. Eastern. I love you all very much. Thank you so much for watching. That sun, keep watching it very mysterious and watch in the next few days the incredible weather phenomena. Ladies and gents, thanks so much, everyone. See you in the comment section. Thanks for being here. Everyone, thanks for the generous contributions and thanks for watching the videos. Maybe up there on the moon. They may be even coming right here soon. Aliens are on the moon. Yes, they are up there. Doesn't matter because disclosure's coming soon. Just coming soon.